Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how JavaScript promises may swallow your errors. This video was inspired by a blog post by James K. Nelson, which is available at the URL shown here. Promises in ES6 can make your life easier when working with asynchronous code. They do away with callback pyramids, having to write error handling on every second line, and the need for relying on external libraries to do simple things like getting the result of a for loop. But promises can have their own pitfalls. The biggest is the disappearing error messages. Specifically, any exception that's thrown within a then handler, a catch handler, or within a function passed to new promise will be silently disposed of unless you handle it manually. Here's an example. Which of these three would you expect to print an error to the console? All of them? Actually, the correct answer is that none of them will produce an error in many JavaScript environments. The obvious solution is to add an extra catch statement to the end of each of your promise chains. For example, like this. But is this something you're really going to do after every then call? Some people have invented the done method, which is functionally equivalent to this. Here's how that looks. This is great in theory, but in reality, you don't normally just use then once. Rather, you'll chain it together multiple times. For example, you may have code where data is retrieved with HTTP and then further processed asynchronously. With further complications, there's always the possibility that a human programmer will make a mistake and forget to include the done method. Whenever there's the possibility for a human coder to make a mistake, you can be sure that they will. Keeping this in mind, it seems obvious that we should design things in such a way that mistakes cause as little trouble as possible. And this means that errors should be handled by default, rather than discarded. The solution is the Bluebird library, which fixes this problem in ES6 by extending the ES6 Promises API. After installing Bluebird, you can make sure that you know about unhandled rejections with this code. On the odd chance that you do want to discard a rejection, just handle it with an empty catch like this. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to James for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to JavaScript and web development.